Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It is day 21, paying off our 12,500 pound Dubai loan. And I've just started my shift at Domino's. The time is around 5.15. I've done one delivery. I haven't recorded anything. I woke up in skim, went to shoot a couple of videos. And then at home I was working on some top secret project, which you'll find out on day 23 of this 100 day challenge. But yeah, videos went super well in Skim. I guess today's video is just gonna be us getting our head down in Domino's. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Hey, how Have a good one. Our first two deliveries in an hour. Hello, how are you doing? Enjoy that. Oh, thank you. Hi guys, how are you doing? We're eight deliveries in and we have done eight delivery. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're eight deliveries in and the time is also 8 p.m. I'm so happy to announce that it's still light at 8 p.m. This is a time of year that I just feel so much more happy. Met a cool guy called Tom whilst delivering pizza. He actually heard me speaking to him. Um, someone else at the door and then he said he recognized my voice and he said oh it's the lad from TikTok it's, it's cool to meet you guys whilst uh, whilst at work other than what I've already told you there's not much not much I can say about today how much did I make yesterday when I was in skim well I don't think the second lot of videos have made me on the raffle as much as did originally i think i made about 15 pounds so far so 150 tickets grateful that i was able to stay over and scam again and uh, i had a great time last night and this morning but yeah we're in work we're staying till 12 tonight midnight tomorrow going to my first liverpool game all right delivery number 10 of the evening number. hi dominoes sure man hey man how are you doing Hey uh, man, you okay? Yeah. Looks like they haven't given me your your big tip. I'll I'll uh, message them now. Go on, okay, yeah. Bob. Yeah. So the delivery was actually made for me. Just assuming everything was there, but turns out I forgot a big dip. We all make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I thought I'd answer some questions from the previous in today's video. First question, nice and easy. Am I sponsored by Too Good To Go? No, in fact, I'm not. Just been making loads of food vlogs on TikTok because it's been performing well. And I'm risking like 10 to 15 pound per video to make sometimes between five and 30, 40 on a good video. And then I found out about Too Good To Go. Smash the views in the first one. I'm only really risking three pound per video and they've all been doing really well so far so I'm gonna continue making them videos and I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going actually oh it's downstairs I can see Right guys, it's just after midnight, we're six hours into our Domino's shift and I'm on my final delivery of the night as Domino's is now closed. Yeah, six hour shifts, go in an instant nowadays. There you go. Guys, with our 6.25 hours in work and our 19 deliveries, we made 81 pounds, 12 pence. Done about 20, 25 quid. Today in the raffle was the start of our next 10 days. Six hours in work literally feels like baby time to me nowadays. So I'm looking forward to getting my new job. But tomorrow's video, I'm going to my first competitive Liverpool game ever. And I absolutely can't wait. The subscribers kindly offered to just pay for me. Did try and offer, like I said, I can pay, you know, but he, he, he can't make the match and he's letting me go. Question, how many miles are on this vehicle and did I finance it or buy it new or is it second hand? It's a new car and look guys, I know that's not the best of ideas, especially when your main source of income is a Domino's delivery driver. Came back from Dubai and I got the first job I applied for, which is selling plots of land in the Cayman Islands. Went into the office, these guys are making 40 grand a month. These guys are killing it. Good vibe in the office, shaking all their hands. I'm like, this is me from now on, this is what I'm gonna do. We took on maybe four new agents, so I'm there. I'm, I'm enjoying it. The first few weeks, 
they go to the Cayman Islands, the older agents, whilst us new guys are there ringing their call list from years back. Proxus was calling people who were in the USA and Canada who inquired because I was the clientele of the Caribbean islands. I was selling plots of land in. I sent out more proposals to specific plots than all the other new agents put together. For some reason they got back from holiday. The day before I would have gone on to speak to the new leads. They just let me go. I will admit like some of the calls I had weren't the best. But whilst they were away in the Cayman Islands, I was I was speaking to quite a lot of people and having quite a lot of good calls. I had some shockers, but I had some good calls as well. And on my last few days, I was ringing up people for like the eighth time, which is fine. Calls I did answer was just so, so bad because, I, to be honest, calling people for the eighth time, it just wasn't really working out very well. The guys probably listened to them calls and thought, hey, this, he's not cut out for this. Let me go because they didn't see me as capable. Instead of putting all these thousands into advertisements, you could have had free advertisement just by having me on the team. It just wasn't part of my future and I thought it was at the time. And that's why I picked up this car that is now more expensive than a Domino's driver should be spending on a car. Domino's and Amazon was kind of a short-term idea of just taking me over before I find my feet. Yeah, that's why I bought this car new. I know it's a new car, it's nice. I know you can hardly see that, but just before our honeymoon, I was just parked in town. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Is that someone trying to break the door? Or is that a car bumped into it? I'm not too sure, but that's a shame. I've done over 16,000 miles in this car, and that is a lot considering I haven't even had it that long. Pretty sure the years following on from this, I'm not gonna quite do the same mileage. And because it's an electric vehicle, when I charge after midnight, we get such a good price. It's doing dominoes and that. I do really save a lot of money by having an electric car rather than a petrol or diesel car. Got a question, do you think you'll go back to Amazon and love the videos? I know a lot of people love them videos. I would like to leave that in the past now. I left Amazon a couple months ago. I had a lot of people ripping into me, saying, hey, that's all people want to see on your channel. I was even getting personal messages. Hey man, it's a bad idea, you know. People join for the Amazon and you can't really leave that niche. 26 years old, built this channel in three years. I could build a whole new one in three years. And I did kind of lose direction of the channel. But I, I think it's found right now. I didn't flex. I actually tried to do that, but I, for some reason there were some errors. I think it's because I had another flex account a while back that I never used. I emailed them about it, but I just get the same automated response back again and again. And I kind of gave up with being a flex driver. But I've got another job coming up, an okay dog grocery delivery. And that starts mid-April. Do you say your ultimate dream is or goal? I am thinking like short term right now what I want to do next. Just build a monthly income from YouTube and TikTok. I would like that monthly income to be higher than what I could make in, in a job. I don't even want to offend people. But yeah, more than what I could make in a job. I have plenty of ideas of what I want to do when I get to that position. But for now, I keep a lot of that to myself i'll see you guys in the next video we're going to a liverpool match i appreciate all the manchester united fans who stick around to watch that one but i look forward to it see you guys then